Hello YouTube. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, growing uh, onions today. In this case, Walla Walla onions. Uh, we live on the west coast of Canada and this is one of the few places in the world that can grow the world famous Walla Walla onion. There's one. They're uh, really, the, I think, the world's best onions. They're famous for being large, like that, and flat in nature. Heavy, that one is, you know, pound and a half, two pounds, maybe more. And they're really sweet and nice. The reason they're sweet and nice is they overwinter. They're also early. This is July 23rd, and we have giant full-size onions like this. We've been eating them for six weeks. Uh, so in mid-June, you're starting to get nice onions, spring onions that you can eat and or sell or grow, eat. And uh, uh, they have been in the ground um, at that point, uh, 270 days or so. They're planted September 1st, approximately, in starter packs, um, seed flats, and then into the ground. Um, Right around the 1st of November is good, or end of October. And uh, we then top dress them. you, you got to tend them through the winter, right? They can take some freezing. The reason they taste so good is that they've been frozen several times over the winter and produced a lot of sugar. Um, by spring, when you're getting near the end of any kind of hard freeze, uh, we top dress them with a nice uh, composted manure, um, chicken manure or something like that. Uh, other than that, uh, their main um, feature is you don't want them to dry out too much. Now, obviously through most of the winter it's wet, but if you do hit some sunny dry spells you want to keep them well watered. Um, they're uh, tremendous yields, a uh, great uh, crop. They do have a few uh, uh, pests, um, but, uh, well not pests, but disease potential problems. The worst one is onion um, uh, white white root rot. Uh, the way to avoid that is don't switch, don't trade uh, onion living onion material with anybody else. Just just use seeds. If you're going to plant garlic or something like that, uh, get it from an accre accredited, uh, inspected, uh, uh, purchased seed that is disease free. Because <clears throat> the last thing you want you, the last thing you want is onion root rot or any of the other diseases. There's some other ones, uh, if you, uh, if they get too wet too long, you might get some rust or some gray mold or something. But uh, we rarely get that. You usually get these uh, sorts of things. If you get a particularly harsh winter, you uh, you know, you're gonna have a fair uh, die off. You might lose 25% of your seedlings. So plant them pretty thick, you know. In, uh, you can always thin in the spring if you have too many. Um, I think you'll enjoy them. They're, they are one of the highlights of West Coast gardening. There's a whole cuisine uh, built around uh, Walla Walla onions, and uh, you'll you'll really enjoy them. And you get two, two and a, you get six six more weeks onions uh, this way. And and in fact, you know uh, they're the best. Uh, I, I do believe they're the best onions you're ever going to eat. They're also a real nice green onion. You can plant them really close together, harvest them very early in the spring, like I'm talking March or even February. As, as a green onion. Good luck, hope they do well f as well for you as they do for us. Thanks, bye.